Hey lovelies, I just want to come to you today really quickly um, to talk to you really quickly about the um, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, please don't judge, I'm kind of gross. It's the end of the day. Um, my hair is really greasy and I'm trying to like fluff it up and hide from you guys that it has no volume and it's dead. Um, <clears throat> but we're here to talk about the Dip Brow anyways, so what does it matter what I look like? Um, and specifically, I want to talk to you in contrast to the Brow Wiz. Now, the Brow Wiz is $22. The Dip Brow is $18. Now, this is what you want to pay attention to. If you don't have a preference between the two and you like to use both, um, and you're just like, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, the Brow Wiz gives you 0.003 ounces, okay, for $22. This gives you 0.14 ounces. For 18 so you're paying less and getting significantly more the other thing I will say is um, I did do my eyebrows with the dip brow for this video for you guys to see um, I did them pretty quickly so they may not be the best thing you've ever you have ever seen um, but as you can see you can do them dark fade them inward you can fade more if you want you don't have to bring the product all the way forward if you don't want to it's whatever you want so it comes in a little nice glass jar like this. It's very pretty. You could easily have it out on display. It looks like this in the jar. I got the color dark brown, which I will oh, swatch for you guys. And just and I just wanted to do kind of a funky line so you could see how precise you can really get with a brush. So that's what it looks like. And you want to get yourself a brush like this. They do sell them. Um, Anastasia has one, obviously. But you don't need to. Uh, I think it's $18. You don't need to get that one if you don't want to. Um, you can get the dollar one from e.l.f. This came in an Eco Tools pack, whatever. But you need a brush like this. Um, and you're just going to lightly dip it in there and then you'll start wherever you want. I like to start like halfway here and then I just like to carve out that arch that I want and then, you know, kind of paint through my patchiness because as you know, I ruined, or you may not know if you've never watched my channel before, but I over tweezed in high school and I ruined my eyebrows. So they grow in, um, not well, uh, if at all, and if I do get hairs, they're kind of curly and patchy. And I like to say they look like a dead, wet cat with scurvy. And someday I'll share them with you, maybe during <laughs> an eye prep tutorial. Actually, I think I have one up, but uh, that is with the Brow Wiz, which is not my uh, front runner anymore. There's nothing wrong with the Brow Wiz, but you're just you're clearly getting more product. I do like the way using the brush. I think it's a really happy marriage between the look of powder and the look of pencil. I think it brings those two worlds together. Um, Look-wise, um, I'm very happy with it. I, I really am. And I used uh, this particular brow is, I've had soft brown, this is brunette. Let me see if I can eke out um, a little bit of color for you guys. Just a little bit. I'm using my last nubbin here for you guys. Um, that is what brunette looks like next to the, so that's the brunette brow is and the dark brown dip brow pomade and the dip brow being the wavy line. So if you use the brunette, you might use the dark brown. Um, chocolate is around the same darkness, but there's a little more of a reddish tone to it. I wanted to get Auburn to kind of do like an ombre where it was really like lighter and got darker out um, toward the edges, but these two colors, didn't. I didn't think they faded together very well. Um, I swatched them in the store and I decided against it. I thought uh, I think I'll just use less product in the center. But um, anyways, that is my first impression. I love it. I couldn't be happier. I think you guys should definitely switch from the brow is to the dip brow, if only to because you're getting more and you're paying less. Um, and I think that this is really nice because you could just, it's glass, it's sturdy, um, you can just chuck it in your purse, it's really travel friendly, I think. Um, the only thing untravel friendly about it is the fact that you need to bring a brush. Um, I, like when I have brushes that are dirty and I don't feel like cleaning them, I just throw them in like, um, 
a Ziploc like sandwich baggie or like the little ones and I just put them in there dirty and I just go on my way. But anyways, if you guys have any questions for me about it or you would like to see something else from it, go ahead, comment, request, send me a message. Um, but uh, overall, I'm very happy. I'm so excited um, to see what where it goes um, from here because I think it will take over the brow is definitely. And I will just kind of give you a last look at my brows here. Not the best thing in the world, but me get to see something. All right. Well, thanks for your time and I will see you in my next video. Bye.